electing them uh, at the state level. We're electing a lot of people, local level. Uh, we're electing a, a number of people. And so uh, uh, Irwin County gets a new sheriff today. Uh, the current sheriff is retiring, and uh, there's a Republican and a Democrat that are running for sheriff in Irwin County. Uh, and he had, uh, he had more votes himself than the other three candidates. That was the two Democrats and the other Republican watched this this afternoon. But we're going to go ahead with the program so that you can watch it a little later. God is really good. We're praying for the election. And uh, go vote. If you haven't voted, go vote. All right, so let's talk about grief. If, if I can just an hour in, so just... Uh, bear with us. Thank you. Mediacom's been around twice. We've called the supervisor. We've done everything. It's not our equipment. We've tested all of our equipment. We know it's not our equipment, so it's in their system. Uh, my aunt, who lives in, outside of Lakeland, Florida, her service at her church went down Sunday morning. We are working through it. We're working through it with them, and we are pushing them to get us an answer. So we love you. Uh, Sheila, I know you lost us, but we'll be back. Uh, it'll be this afternoon. If, if we don't, if it doesn't come back up, but if it does come back up, you'll catch us intermittently, and then we are recording it, and so you'll get the whole program this afternoon, okay? Because Terry will edit it and upload it. Figures who, who line the walls, but don't you know they see him? As Saul heeds nature's call, dozens of eyes widen, their minds race, <clears throat> hands reach for daggers, one thrust of the blade will bring Saul's tyranny, and they're running to an end. But David signals for his men to hold back. He edges along the wall, unsheaths his knife, and cuts not the flesh, but the robe of Saul. David then creeps back into the recesses of the cave. David's men can't believe what their leader has done. Neither can David. Yet his feelings don't reflect theirs. They think he is robe. He said to his men, May the Lord keep me from doing such a thing to my master. Saul is the Lord's appointed king. I should not do anything against him because he is the Lord's appointed king. And Saul exits the cave and David soon follows. He lifts the garment corner and in so many words shouts, I could have killed you, but I didn't. Saul looks up stunned and wonders aloud, If a man finds his enemy, will he let him go away safely? David will more than once and we'll talk about i was reminded of the song and terry reminded me that you are a uh, an annie fan the, the i am the uh, the musical annie i am the the song that uh from that uh, musical the sun will come out tomorrow yeah bet you bottom dollar tomorrow come what may tomorrow tomorrow is all right it's based out of the story from Second uh, Kings chapter four, the uh, the Shunammite uh, woman and and her and her son. So here we go. The prophet Elisha often would travel through the town of Shunem, and in that town was a well-to-do couple who attended, extended hospitality. Matter of fact, he came there through there so much that they said, "We're just going to build you a room." And he said, I'm, I'm good with that. Servant Gehazi later informed Elisha that the woman was barren and her husband was old. About this time next year, Elisha said, you will hold a son. In your Paraphrasing, the, the woman ran to meet Elisha to inform, to inform him. And when Elisha raised him from the dead and what a glorious miracle it was. You can read about it in Second Panic. For she knew something more than the current circumstances. To himself by demonstrating his power. When Jesus, yeah, hey, exercise your faith today and trust him for his son will come out. And we're going to... Uh, this past... What's her name, you know, that runs the orphanage? She's Hallerby, okay? And uh, I, I loved it when the kids sing. Familiar verse over in Romans chapter 12, okay? And talk to you, and let's just see what God speaks to us. Let the Spirit work on us a little bit. I mean, as you could call it. I like that verse. But if we can dig into that just a little bit, 
Do not become conformed to this world. Don't be like this world, but be transformed. And I know there's a bunch of rules and religion and church and that type thing, and it bogs you down, and it does me too. And, and, and when you sit there and you go, Lord, what does that say? Well, I believe it starts out that God really is guiding you toward the transforming of your mind in Christ Jesus to understand God's will. And so how do you do that? Let me, let me go through three points with you real quick and, uh, and, and see what this brings out to you. First of all, I believe you're, you're transformed by the renewing of your mind by having and gaining knowledge of God's word, his will, and his way. Right. You have to know God's will. You have to know God's will. And knowing God's will and knowing God's word is the beginning step. It's not the last step. And sometimes we have people that think, well, I know God's will. I'm okay. But there's more to it. The second step would be putting faith in God's word. And faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You need, to, you need to be around it. We've got some TV programs that you can watch. You've got Bible studies you can attend. We've got morning devotion yeah. you can listen to and feed off of. We've got Wednesday night Bible study that you can put God's Word in. We've got Sunday morning Sunday school that you can come in, hear God's Word, and ask questions about it so you understand it. You've got the preaching of God's Word. We've got a wealth of ways to build our faith. So we can gain that knowledge, and the second step is building our faith in it. And we can sit there on the pew and say, oh, I got the faith. I got faith. I got faith. But the Bible also says faith without works is dead, being alone. And so there is a third step, and that third step is applying it. Right. Is applying it. For me to know good and do it not, the Bible said, to me, it's sin. Mm -hmm. So we need to have the knowledge of what God's Word is. We need to place our faith in that. And then we need to apply it. We need to do it. Go out, go out into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and Holy Ghost. Go out, go out, go out in the highways and hedges that they might that they might be full in the house. We have to have that knowledge. We have to have that faith. We have to have that application. So in our transforming of our mind, that we might prove or show. What is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God to be transformed into, into following and understanding and experiencing the very will of God? We have to follow those three steps. Right. We have to gain the knowledge of what God wants us to know. We have to place our faith in it, and then we have to apply it. Amen. Yep. Definitely, 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 definitely. All right, so let's talk about a couple of things going on. Uh, we have, uh, we'll be back in the morning at 10, and we have service tomorrow night on Wednesday night at 7. We'll have Bible study in here. We have young adult group in the uh, social hall. We have uh, youth in the, the uh, large room in the activities building downstairs, and then children's church uh, ministry is going on upstairs in the classrooms. And so we invite you to come. We start at 7, end around 8, and we would love for you to come and be a part with us. And uh, we're going to be continue celebrating on Sunday morning. I'm going to continue my series on um, standing firm, and I'm going to talk about standing up for Jesus. And uh, I did not get to finish that sermon Sunday, so I will finish it this coming Sunday uh, morning. Uh, that is the plan anyway. That is our plan. I hope that's God's plan too. So let me... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm trying to think, oh yeah, barbecue, Boston butts, we are doing them on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, the youth and children are, you can call the church, you can come by the church, you can go to our Facebook page on, and pay, uh, pay for one on PayPal, uh, you can, uh, you can uh, uh, text uh, Wayne or April McDuffie or uh, Stacy and Caleb Powell and you can text either of those and tell them you want one, they'll already put you down, it's on their pages. Also, Vital uh, Youth Group and C3 Children's Ministry, so you can, you can go on there. They've all, I've already seen some people that are ordering them off of there. And, so, and there are some other groups. I know the wrestling team is doing, a, doing one that very same day. And so I encourage you to support us both. 
We, we all need your support. We're all doing, we're all about youth ministry and children's ministry. And so uh, I don't know whether that's based out of the high school. The child I know that's selling them is about uh, fourth or fifth grade. So he would be down at the elementary school. So God is prayer request, uh, about 50, and we'll go on. Uh, number one, I have a couple of ministers, pastors, Uvalda, and uh, Alvin's dad, uh, you had to move and, and heal Philip. I have some other friends who are going through some 90, uh, 98 years old, and her funeral is Saturday. So Barbara, Denise, for 34 weeks now and some move in their life. Linda Justice is supposed to the U.S. Army are deploying to uh, his home. He is doing good. That is uh, April um, um, uh, W.L. Patterson's wife, Fran, uh, passed away, signed the cancer where th they were looking for it. And so we're believing he's better. He still says he's got to have some surgery, but they canceled the rest of his chemo. Amen. So we praise God for that. He's struggling. Lisa Martin, Stephen um, Kennedy uh, has uh, cancer. Uh, did, did, I, did I mention David Rathburn? I don't think I did. David is uh, Sister Lily Rathburn's youngest son, and he's in the hospital. Uh, he's had, I think, some surgery and all. We just need to remember David in prayer. Uh, David lives with her, and uh, she's been, uh, of course, at Jeanette's ever since her stroke. Uh, but let's, uh, let's remember them in prayer that God would touch David. David needs a miracle, and we're believing for a miracle. Yes. And so, I, you know, David is the guy that I watched the, the, the committee come through a few years ago, and I was there that morning when they said, uh, we need to unplug him. We, he has no chance of life. He's non-responsive, and the, and the family bowed up in the name of Jesus. Literally, bowed up in the name of Jesus and said, we believe in healing. We're Pentecostal. We're holiness folks. We believe in healing. And we're not unplugging him. And a couple of days later, he walked out of the hospital. <laughs> Do it again. The sun will come up tomorrow. All right. David Fitzgerald and Dottie Jacobs are both struggling. A Dawson Johns. A Dwayne Souls, my friend, is a little weak on one side. On his right side, just remember him in prayer. Joe Grant. Still has pneumonia. We're believing God to heal him. Joanne Mullis, David Mobley uh, has cancer. Lynn Gillis has cancer. Mary Martin and Dean Williamson. Ruth Ann Stanley uh, and then Bobby Musgrove. Uh, Michelle Musgrove has been suffering from, um, that's Tim and Michelle. She's been suffering from vertigo over the weekend. She's back at work. She said, she told me last night she had functioning vertigo. <clears throat> I don't understand functioning vertigo. Does that mean you hold on to the wall? <laughs> because um, I have a little bit of it too. God's good. All right. Uh, we've been offline for a little while, but when they push this up online this afternoon, you won't even know we were ever offline, and maybe you'll shout the victory with us. And we love you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we love you today. Help our people to vote. Help our people to go vote. Help our people to hear from heaven. Help our people to vote the most pro-God positions, platform. God, while neither one of these guys may meet what some people's criteria for Christian is, I'm not to judge. But God, I do know one has an ungodly platform and one at least says he believes. And God, I have to choose the one who says he believes over the one who says he doesn't believe. And God, I can't kill babies. I can't vote to kill babies. I can't vote to continue to kill 61 more million, which is what we've done so far. So God, I pray that you would intervene in America. I know the sun's coming up tomorrow that you'd protect us and watch over us, put a hedge about us. God, let those that would riot and cause harm and, and destroy it to be. God, let them see the same soul, the same angels that... Elijah prayed over his servant to see behind those warring factions. Mm. Because, God, if they see that, they'll stop and they'll go away. This is your land. You cannot be shut down again. God, I can't deal with another shutdown. Touch us with your power. And let victory come, I pray. Let healing virtue come for all of these.